Hey guys, how are you all doing? Hello. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, how are you all doing? So today in Berlin, it's a couple of days before March in 2021. Um, we're currently walking along the streets of Mitte in uh, central Berlin. And um, it's a really nice day today. We've just recently moved here. And I thought, what better way to show you guys what a typical two-room apartment in Berlin looks like than to show you what a typical two-room apartment in Berlin looks like. So, uh, we're actually near the apartment right now. Um, I'm very humbled to welcome you into um, our brand new apartment. It's a pigsty at the moment, absolute mess. Um, but hopefully, uh, showing you the skeleton of the apartment, it'll give you a better idea as to what it kind of looks like to live somewhere around central Berlin in a very humble apartment. Come. So this is the main apartment door from the street. So this is the main apartment foyer. Um, basically we have to be a little bit quiet because people in Germany don't tend to like noise in the foyers. So over here you have the stairs that lead all the way up until the fifth floor. Each floor has three apartment rooms in this complex. And here on the right, when you walk in, you basically have a very, very special lift. I think it was installed a little bit after the whole complex was built. It's actually relatively new. There are two doors that's operated manually. First door provides you access. And these two doors, are from the inside and uh, basically the buttons over here but you can't operate the lift until both doors are closed so I'll see you guys upstairs. So welcome to the apartment guys. So the first thing you see before I introduce you to the rooms uh, two features on the main door itself. The first feature is um, basically a peephole so you can see who's robbing you and over here you have a direct uh, line for postmen to uh, drop your mail off. I don't think I've ever seen this in Germany before. I don't know how typical it is um, but basically with our old apartment you basically had a post complex where the postman would basically just drop all the mail um, all in one go but over here they personally drop off the mail so super kind of convenient in this regard. Of course, the first room that you uh, see on the left when you enter is the bathroom itself. On the right, when you walk in, you have a full uh, kind of closed shower. You've got a floating vanity design over here, suave kind of uh, real estate talk. And of course, um, some extra storage over here if you want to um, hide your things, which is a really nice touch, but basically this mirror we brought back from our old apartment. Um, super kind of uh, nice for the time being anyway. Um, and of course, the most important part in the bathroom, the throne. And of course, you have uh, the window over here, which lets in a good amount of sunlight during all parts of the day. Um, it opens from the side and the top. I think that's quite typical with a lot of German apartments, probably uh, in European apartments as well. But it's super, super nice, so you don't have to worry about the door um, kind of slamming shut or anything like that. Super nice touch. So the next room to the left is the kitchen. Um, a super basic kitchen over here. This is a fridge that we brought in from our own apartment, um, our old apartment in Neukölln. Um, and uh, yeah, basically two uh, sides here. For this side you have um, the stove top um, and integrated oven as well. Sink, all you need, and also the washing machine. Another kind of special thing about Germany is of course the washing machine being in the kitchen as I'm sure um, some of you might know. Um, another typical place in Germany to have the washing machine is actually the bathroom. Um, but where I'm from in Australia um, and probably other parts of the world as well, the washing machine has a laundry room. So over here on the right hand side you have another uh, kind of nice workspace um, to prep your food um, and of course more storage space over here. Another really, really nice touch are these uh, underlights. If you would like 
I don't know what they're called, but it basically gives you another perspective of lighting when you're doing your uh, when you're doing your food. So um, super super nice touch that I haven't had before in my life. And over here, welcome to the first room. This room is 20 square meters and would be what you would call the bedroom. Um, again, everything is a little bit of a mess right now because um, yeah, we've literally just moved in. Yeah, room is definitely very bare at the moment. We've just installed a couple of wardrobes over here and uh, just a bed so we can, we can have something to sleep on. Um, but over here you have a really nice view of the main street, which is really, really nice. Um, and uh, yeah, basically if you come around this side, um, what we were thinking was basically to install uh, some sort of work desk in this area just to kind of fill the space and make it a little bit more functional But as you can see things are a little bit all over the place at the moment um, Before we go into the next room another kind of special thing or something that I think is quite typical in Germany um, Are these doors um, you might think oh, that's a really nice door, but of course there's a very big glass cutout in the middle so this one runs all the way to the bottom of the door, but sometimes you'll see basically uh, the top half being a glass cutout. I'm not really sure how functional that is, especially in a bedroom, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but I guess it's uh, quite stylish um, and I guess I'm okay with it. Let's go to the next room. Before we go to the next room, of course, this small little area um, to put maybe a shelf or something like that. Fuse box that's integrated into the apartment, but we have at the moment the most important guy in the, in the house at the moment, so the, the Wi-Fi router. Um, yep, over here is an integrated storage space, which is kind of cool. Maybe you can come around this side so you can see. I mean, it's just a load of trash at the moment, but basically you can store anything that um, you don't want to be seen outside. So I would personally prefer um, this area to have been additional space, to be honest, but this is also nice. Um, yeah, it's also a nice kind of touch. And of course, the last room over here, what you would call the living room. This space is 30 square meters. Um, basically a really, really empty room at the moment with lots of stuff on the floor. Um, but I, I hope this kind of gives you a bit of a feeling as to, as to what these uh, kind of rooms look like. Um, of course, this is renovated. Um, over here, we have a window pointing to the west. And over here, we have a window and a balcony door pointing to the north. Um, so another thing that's a little bit special that I would like to share with you guys is um, this heater over here, or heaters in Germany in general. I'm not sure how frequent this is as well to, to, to be in Germany, but basically um, it's just a typical heater that basically when you turn on within less than a minute, you will have really, really nice heating, which is a nice touch. But the thing is, we are currently in the middle floor. So, so the so the third floor, if you like. And uh, if on the chance that someone from the fourth or fifth or sixth floor turn on their heaters, the heat actually runs through these pipes that go through the ceilings and the floor. So um, it's kind of like free heating in a sense. They actually get really hot. Um, and yeah, it's really, really nice. Sharing is caring, I guess. So we've actually never had to turn on this heater yet ever since we moved here. It's still kind of winter at the moment, um, but uh, We've never had to turn it on, which is really, really cool. Yeah, um, just the random furniture lay, laid out everywhere at the moment, so um, forgive us for that. Let me know if you would like to see some sort of update in regards to what it would look like in a month or two. And we have the balcony door, of course. So this door is much like the other windows that you see in the other rooms. It opens from the side, uh, but also from the top. So currently we have a makeshift kind of work area um, over here and it's really nice because when you're doing your work you don't have to worry about the door kind of uh, slamming shut on you like I uh, mentioned before um, but uh, yeah if you want a little bit of cool air inside you don't have to open the door so wide super super cool so welcome to the balcony so this balcony is not too big um, you can you can see over here we have a couple of Hochbeete in German, they're called. Um, in English, I guess you would say planter boxes. Um, these two kind of uh, pots came with the apartment, um, but uh, you have a really nice kind of calming view. Currently, not too much has been done to it. Um, we have these 
uh, red iron beams for a little bit more privacy um, between you and the other residents in this house. Um, but we're also thinking about putting kind of like a green uh, vine sort of thing. I'm not sure if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I think that would look really nice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So if you look kind of in, in this uh, sort of direction, you'll see like the, the Hof in German it's called, but basically the residential area where you can, you know, sit around, chill, uh, park your cars, throw the rubbish and things like that. Um, and this street over here leads more towards the further residential side of things. And if you go out and this way, um, you'll basically be led into the main kind of sub-district uh, in Mitte. Um, it's a really nice kind of area, pretty self-sufficient, lots of supermarkets nearby, um, lots of chemists and, and pharmacies, things like that, so pretty much everything you need. Let's go back inside. So yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of this apartment tour, a very small and cozy kind of apartment. Uh, not too much going on at the moment, so apologies for that, um, but let me know if you would like to see kind of like the final product as well. Um, I hope this gives you guys a little bit of a glimpse into what it's like, I guess what it looks like to live in an apartment like this. Um, we also have another kind of studio apartment in Neukölln. If you guys are interested in seeing what that looks like, let me know in the comments below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the overall tour and enjoy the rest of your day.